One of the questions I get asked all the time is, can you just use steel from Home Depot to make a knife? So I went ahead and paid $15. My wallet is still recovering for a piece of Home Depot mystery steel to find out. So I cut several samples, threw them in the kiln at 1475 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. I then quenched one in Parks 50 quench oil and the other in straight water. I thought this shot was quite interesting because you can actually see the piece of steel cool from the edges inward towards the middle. I then ground some flat spots for testing and threw them on the Rockwell hardness tester. Nothing. Didn't harden whatsoever. It's like not even registering on the scale. Let's try the water hardened piece. Nothing. We're not even on the scale yet. Here's a piece that hasn't been hardened. This is right off the bar. Wouldn't make a great knife. Here's our oil hardened piece. Like butter. That wouldn't make a good knife either. And finally our water hardened piece. Our water quenched piece because it's not hard. I mean, like butter. That would not make a good knife. All right, this is why you don't buy steel from Home Depot to make knives. Steel from Home Depot just does not have enough carbon in it in order to harden properly or harden at all. I don't know what kind of steel this is. It will not harden. This is about as soft as it was when we first started. I get the idea of wanting to just pick something up at Home Depot and try your hand at knife making. However, what I would recommend is just go ahead and buy a proper piece of knife making steel, a proper piece of 1084. You're gonna save a lot of money and aggravation just buying a proper piece from the beginning rather than trying to pick up something at a local store that will work. Yes, you could pick up a file from Home Depot and that may work for you depending on what exactly you're looking for. I do have a video on files, which I'll leave a link up here. You can check that out just so that you sort of know what you're getting into when it comes to files. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.